years ago, police say a 13-year-old girl was murdered. Her body was found in the woods in Towson. But since then, there have been very few leads and no suspects about the death of Heather Porter. But her sister believes someone still knows something. I, I'd like to die in peace. My, my family was wrecked. In 1981, Mary Porter was like most 11-year-olds. Her big sister was her built-in best friend. I loved her. She was my friend. She would have loved my kids. She'd have been a good aunt. On September 23rd of that year, Mary's life changed forever. Police say her 13-year-old sister, Heather, was murdered. Police believe she was dragged into a wooded area off of Goucher Boulevard in Towson. Police say she was strangled, and Mary says the FBI later told her Heather was also raped after the fact. Heather, who was already a talented artist, was last seen only a few blocks from her house in Woodlawn. Mary believes her sister was picked up by someone in a car. I believe in my heart and soul that she knew who the killer was, because she would have never in a million years got in a car with a stranger. The old case file shows semen, hair, and clothing were recovered, but Mary says four different detectives since then have told her there's been no DNA match. Police want a fresh look at this case and hope renewed media attention spurs things on. And the longer it gets, the more frustrating it can get because you've talked to everybody you can talk to, you've looked at everything you can look at. Mary has looked at the old case files over and over for decades, but she may never know why the sister she looked up to was murdered. Now I wish I had her. There's so many things that I, I'd love to talk to her about or tell her about her. It's a lot of loss. Heather's family hopes that if someone knows something, they call Baltimore County Police so this case can be closed and her family can finally get the peace that they've waited for. In Baltimore County, George Lettuce, WBAL, TV 11 News.